Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. Salespeople really teach us the value of coaching. Now, first of all, foundationally, I'm a salesperson. Now, I'm also a coach and a business owner, but one of my main functions is selling. And sales is tough. This is not a podcast around criticizing or being punitive towards salespeople. Sales is tough. But coaching salespeople is even tougher. Let me share this with you fundamentally. Research from organizations like CSO Insight depict that one out of every two salespeople will not hit their quota. Now, it's not to be critical, but it certainly puts it in perspective. Because when you're in a sales meeting and a sales leader gets up in front of the room, he or she will say things like, come on, everyone, we're going to hit our numbers, right? Have you ever seen in a sales meeting somebody raise their hand and say, hey, boss, not me. I just, I got to tell you, I can't negotiate. Um, I don't think I could handle a price objection if it slapped me in the face. And I got to tell you, my prospecting is way off. Now, I bet you're laughing. Hopefully, you're laughing a little bit. Here's the funny thing. What we want in salespeople becomes the very barrier to their improvement. Let me explain. We want salespeople with egos, strong mentalities, optimism opportunistic thoughts and feelings because sales is tough. But often when somebody hits their numbers and you go up to a salesperson and say, wow, Susie, you had a great year. How come? You know what most salespeople start talking about? Themselves. The next year you go up to a salesperson and you say, Susie, boy, you had kind of a down year versus the prior year. What happened? Rarely, if ever, Will you hear a salesperson talk about themselves? They will talk about conditions or things outside of them, such as, well, our marketing department didn't do a great job, or the economy was really tough, or the industry's in a downturn. Now, let me add a little bit more zest to this conversation. I will often look at salespeople when they say that, and I'll respond with, so you don't sell well during tough economies? or down industries? And you'll get this blank stare. Because then my next question is, by the way, when sales go up, do you take credit or do you give the economy and industry credit? Because what happens is, salespeople are highly resistant because they have to be vulnerable. But it is an absolute representation of why we need to coach not just salespeople, but all people. Because we're conditioned sometimes to be resistant to change, resistant to improvement. It can also create a resistance to looking in the mirror where we can be vulnerable and really find awesome opportunities to improve. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called coach to you where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called coach to you. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. 
If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.